Malcolm Schiff is a Democrat from California. He is a member of the House Appropriations Committee. Sir, welcome to Power Lunch. Thank you. Good to be with you. The outlines uh, of the deal that are, are being moved on different news wires and from our reporters in Washington, John Harwood and Eamon Javers, if indeed those details are correct, would you support that, that measure? Well, I'd want to look at package also, and I think it would be, frankly, uh, threading a very uh, fine needle in the House of Representatives. Uh, with that kind of a package, you would undoubtedly lose a great many Republicans, and I think you'd lose a significant number of Democrats, too. Uh, all of us, though, are going to be torn between uh, a, a, a position where we, we don't like many of the things in the package on the one hand, uh, and on the other hand, we also don't like the idea of us uh, going over the cliff and that adversely impacting the whole country. So I think Senator Reid was quite right uh, when he said early on there are going to be things we don't like and things we like even less. Uh, and as the package just starts to emerge, it certainly appears that way. So give me the odds of our getting a deal by midnight tonight. Uh, I still think, and I've been an optimist through this whole thing, uh, all evidence to the contrary, and unfortunately, I still think we're going to have a deal. Uh, we are, it appears, very close. Uh, certainly can fall apart at any time, and it has yet to fully come together. But uh, I do think the consequences of going over the cliff are, are so significant uh, that we really need to find a way to act. And you were asking my colleague about the reaction back home. I can tell you mm -hmm. the reaction from my constituents is they, they look at Congress and they think it's just like a bunch of school kids that can't uh, get to agreement and everybody wants to take the ball and go home. Right. Uh, we have an obligation to get this done. I still believe we will get it done, but uh, we have yet some distance to go. You know, what, what's also worrisome to Wall Street, and I would assume to many of your constituents, is the fact that if you can't come together and form a deal to keep us from going over the fiscal cliff, the next debate is the debt ceiling debate. How contentious is that going to be? Well, it could be very contentious. And I think the president is exactly right on this. He shouldn't play that game. We can't play that game. And historically, up until last year, we never did play that game because it's essentially putting a gun to the head of the economy. And that's, that's crazy. Uh, so we need to get beyond this. We need to find a way to, you know, attack our deficit and debt. It is a real problem. Americans are rightly concerned about it. But we can't continue to hold the full faith and credit of the United States hostage every time we get in these discussions. So I don't want to see us go back to that in a couple mm -hmm. months. Um, and I think we do need a, a longer-term deal that really addresses these okay. structural problems. Congressman, we'll let you get back to work.